Yo, yo, yo. About to get started in a second. Let me see. Uh, uh, just invited my boy over there at Underground. We're gonna get started, y'all. Uh oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Everybody, hey, guess what day it is? Come on, Andrew, you can hear me. Like, right, 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 right. What day is it, Greg? <laughs> and then, guess what day today is? Woohoo, Greg! How happy are folks who gain exposure by playing in PQ sports events? I'd say happier than a camel playing basketball on Wednesday. Hump day, yeah! Hump Get exposure, day. play with PQ sports. Every weekend with PQ Sports, you can bring your culture and highlight to the world. What's up? What's up? What's up, world? We sitting here today. I'm trying to get my boy over here online with uh, Underground Hoops. I guess he ain't able to join over there. I don't know what's going on. I'm accepting. What's going on? Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Underground, what's going on? Underground. Doing? How we doing? Join. A crazy night. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, man. Crazy night. Even though I expected the game a little, to be a little bit more better, I mean, I say it somewhat lived up to the hype. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Uh, CMS, Columbia Middle School, has been winning ugly all year long, man. You know what I'm saying? They just, you know, uh, you know, believe it or not, Basketball is not always sexy and pretty. So, but but like I said, but you know, CMS is what ten, 10 and zero now. now. And I'm, you and know, ten and over, and they get it out the mud. And, and you know, no look, just strictly speaking on stuff that. like this, man. You know, looking directly at CMS and looking at how they've been getting their wins, even though they have been winning and they haven't been really winning the best way. But what actually helps them win? How do they find a way to win? You know, you look at that last. You look at the last time they played Greenbrier, probably the second game of the season. You see that they had a little bit where they started giving a little bit more role players minutes. You know, TK being another front court piece, being alongside AJ, and you know Caleb Davis. You know, being another mm -hmm. small guard, seven grade. You know, being real short at where he at. He started getting a lot more minutes. You know, being alongside Gabe. Those role players kind of made it a lot more easier. You know, you got a solid forward. You got a solid shooting guard. You know, uh, Jacob alongside with uh, Gay running the forward while Gay running shooting guard, kind of giving him more space. And then you look at more W, what they usually be doing half of the time. One major key piece to Columbia Middle School is strictly A.J. Luke. A.J. Luke, dominant board getter and straight dominant <laughs> man. He's just a, he's just too much. He's just too dominant of a big. And when he doesn't, and when he does end up having an off night, he'll still give you ten and five a game. Hey man, big facts. I'm I'm gonna tell you right here. AJ Luke, a kid. I've been telling people this is second year playing basketball. Last year on the team, he didn't get a lot of minutes. I think he only played fifth quarter, to be honest. Which I think it may have been a game or two, but. I'm going to tell you this right here, man. He's kind of been that energizer guy, man. Like, he has dominated every game in the front court for Columbia Middle School, which has made the difference. Uh, you know, you know, obviously, uh, Gabe Arelli has, uh, has had uh, just a uh, – he's paced himself. He's, he, he's paced himself in every game. Granted, if you don't like it, it's times I watch his ass and I don't like it, but – uh, he just finds a way to pace himself. But one of the keys I said earlier today in my post, I said the key matchup was going to be the front court matchup of A.J. Lou from Columbia Middle School versus Will Russell over at Evans Middle School. Will Russell is my guy. Been This kid has been around. I've had the opportunity to coach this kid since, I think, fourth grade. A.J. Lou dominated his and, and you know, see, Straight up. Me, straight up. And you see no what I look for in the big – look, honestly, I don't consider Will a big man. I don't consider him a big man. Of course, I mean, like – I mean, of course, you look right. – not directly saying off of strictly body types or whatnot, but I mean, like, you look at AJ, you know, solid 6 four, eighth grader, and you see the way how he plays. He plays like he's way bigger than that. And, I mean, you look at Will, I'd rather have Will at the three, so where he could probably get around and probably at least do a 
Not ready. Not ready. Not ready. Not ready. Not ready. Not ready for the three. But that 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 that, that could be his. That could be his makeup in about another year or two. It's going to take some. It's going to take some great offseason work to get him at the three. Right now, both of those kids are really yeah. power forwards. Um, neither one of them is a center. But I, I just think the energize the way AJ dominates the glass. Like, there's no such thing as a 50 50 ball with AJ. AJ's damn near getting that rebound 85 to 90 percent of the time against his opposing team. Now, don't get it twisted. Will, Will had some great spurts. All three matchups versus Columbia Middle School this year, Will has had spurts throughout the game where he's been very dominant, impactful. Uh, but another, like I said, front court won by AJ Luke, CMS. The 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 role player that stepped up tonight to me, role player that stepped up tonight, number twenty two. Don't know his name, but Terry, you can say his name. Was Caleb Davis, boy, come out uh, shooting two for two, three for three, like ain't nothing. Like what's up? I was like, really? Speaking what? Speaking what? Other uh, you know, basketball companies around Augusta, or just any other type of middle school uh, organizations. You know, we said this plenty of times before, even at the beginning of the season. You know. You just like even talking to the coach, we just couldn't have AJ and Gabe. You know, like don't get me wrong, everybody on that team, they all play their role perfectly. You know, Gabe taking up mm -hmm. Gabe taking the lead mm -hmm. Gabe taking the leadership, taking a step up, and you know, AJ handling the dirty work down in the post. But I mean, you still need a team to play a team sport. You might have you might have those certain right. people that might be able to pull you out here every day, but you are still going to need some role players. And I say one thing that Columbia Middle definitely needed was another guard alongside Gabe. I say Caleb Davis, him going off these last couple games and him getting a lot more shots and touches with the ball, I say this actually, like, benefited him, not just him, but just strictly the backcourt as a whole. Because now... Well, it's been a committee. It's, it's, it's been a committee. I'm saying Twin has stepped up. Uh, number twelve has stepped up. Twenty two is has stepped. You know, obviously the kid we talking about that went went two for two. I think three for three to start off the game. But shit, let's 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 not get it twisted. Twin, uh, twin is another kid that just as a seventh grader, as you said earlier, man, was key in the second half. Man, even though he had some turnovers, he got back on defense, deflected the ball, made made will and made number twenty four for Evans miss. Uh, uh, you know, which should have been a really easy layup. They should have bodied him and, and put him in the basket and stuff and finished. But he just – he impacted. They missed the shots, and it was it was momentum. It was like a, 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 a gut punch. But I'm going to tell you tonight, uh, fu uh, frustrating night for anybody that want to just watch basketball. But like I, tell, like I tell a lot of people, I watch a lot of basketball, especially young basketball at the middle school level you see grimy, muddy-looking games like this. You just don't see that polished level of play until you get to the high school level. And even in the high school level, especially around here, you still see muddy-looking games. So, you know, it, it takes a special breed of kids to bring out that elite level or that competitive level of basketball. It still was competitive because, like I said, I don't know any power forwards – Especially in the CSR area. Granted, I haven't seen South Carolina play, but over there like Aiken and uh, North Augusta and Lavelle Campbell. But I don't think it's a forward that can mess with AJ and or Will. Will those two kids right now, eighth grade wise, top two, top two forwards. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here and say this. You know, even with even with Gabe play, uh, clearly one of the best guards in Columbia County. Um, Every game, he's been the best kid, best guard on the floor. I'm excited to see this Greenbrier matchup because by the looks, Greenbrier guard, what's the light-skinned kid? Aiden, the light-skinned guard of Greenbrier, the taller one. I, it, it's something about him that I like. I like his size maybe because I have a, 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 a special, you know, feel for, for big guards, lengthy guards. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 intrigued by this matchup with that kid and Gabe on Friday. But like I said, I think uh, Gabe is just battle tested. He played too too much basketball compared to these kids to where uh, it shouldn't be a factor. But hey, Aiden, yo, he gonna step Aiden, up and we gonna talk get a chance about, to I've been wanting to talk uh, about Friday. Aiden for a long for a good minute now. One thing about Aiden is he may not be he may not be probably up there with you know 
Gabe or whatnot. Now, I'm not necessarily saying what skill level because, you know, it's still going to be a tough matchup between those two guards, you know. I feel like, you know, with Caleb Davis being alongside with Gabe now, you can necessarily say he's another impactful guard depending on how his next game is going to go. Because um, from what we hear, I think it's going to be their shooter, their shooter, their shooter as we speak. I don't really know too much, but word on the street is that their shooter is hurt. And so going based off the of kind of where he's going, what I say mm. with Aiden. Aiden, I say, hey, he, I say he's definitely had times where he was very intimidated by Gabe. And we can go based off of the last watch. We can go based off of the last time right. we watched Greenbrier, you know. There was some players on Greenbrier, some role players that was kind of stepping up to the pedal a little bit, trying to get everybody back in. But then you lost, But then you saw Aiden, you know. Aiden was kind of struggling with late. Aiden was kind of... Uh, yeah, you, I've seen that. I've I seen that first game. But, you know, you know, not to cut you off, little brother. Uh, but I, 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 I seen the respect factor too much of a respect factor. Uh, but let's, let's keep in mind, Greenbrier hits hey, their free throws in the first game. Now keep in mind audience, Greenbrier and Columbia, and Columbia middle school played each other first game of the season. Uh, Greenbrier, I ain't gonna lie to you. They probably went one for 10 from the free throw line in the first half. And really that was pretty much a good difference of the game. Uh, Columbia middle school was able to stretch it out. And I think, once Greenbrier started trailing, I think that they really just they, they, it was too much of a I'm not gonna say it was a fear factor, but I I just I did see the panicking. Oh man, I don't think we can beat them, you know, boom, boom, boom. Because Greenbrier has some size now; their is, size is, uh, is is underdeveloped. Let's let's keep that. Let's let's be one thousand about it. But I like the size that I'm seeing over here in Columbia in Columbia County coming up compared to now granted I've only been to one Richmond County game and that was Tut versus Langford. Really didn't see no bigs. Um there's some there's some eighth graders out here in the area that that you gotta talk about. You know, I know the husband kid is out there. I don't know what what's high school he's at. Uh, not high school, uh, I don't know what middle school he's what, at. Uh, yeah, Lavelle uh, Ooh so you talking about the husband, the husband mm -hmm. kid uh, and uh, him Kobe and some other, uh, another kid that uh, and against Paul Knox, but then you know one of your former players, Amari Robertson, probably might, might be the most dominant yes. player over there in North Augusta as we speak. But back on what Aiden and them Man. speak right now, Man. I say Go. and Greenbrier, yeah, they definitely are a lot better from what we saw from last time when they played CMS. It's going based off of how they played other schools where they probably where they knocked off Evans before or just knocked off any other teams where. We probably struggled a little bit with Columbia Middle School or whatnot. I feel like this build of a boost factor for yeah. them and probably coming into this championship, I feel like they're going to have to prepare their minds a little bit more. But I still feel like they have the ability to prepare their minds a lot more because now that all these games that went by, they got this confidence. And, you know, Aiden, he's been constantly giving teams 17, 17 and 5 a game, you know, going up against, you know, they just – today they recently just beat Grove Town. And, you know, with this championship – uh, I actually do not what know the what score? the score was. I... You don't know? Nobody? Somebody tell us what the score was if you're you listening to us, man. But, Put it um, down in the comment box. You know, Go going into this next game, uh, I say what's really going to make a difference factor is like, yeah, Greenbrier got some size, but AJ, he his game is wild, but he disciplined at the same time. You know, I just. They don't have an answer for him, bro. Like, like, I'm just telling you, AJ stays out of foul trouble. They don't have an answer for him. And quietly, quietly, if the coach from Columbia Middle School wants to make an impressive statement, what's number five's name for Columbia Middle School? If he plays and he gets quality minutes and stuff, and, and he bangs on that hey, glass too with, hey, and we, with AJ and we, against Greenbrier, this, this is a, this, last time they played the Greenbrier, you know, me and you, Easy. we were sitting on the sidelines. Coach ended up making adjustments, added AJ and TK both in the game. They couldn't answer. the answer. You know, you had two strong yeah. rebounders in there, kick the ball out, give it to one of the guards, and Gabe was cooking the whole game while the Biz was just getting rebounds all game. Cooking. Yeah. Now, big facts. Number five, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know why the hell he ain't playing major minutes. I, I don't get it. Now, you know, he gets he gets chopped liver minutes, in my opinion. He should be playing more minutes. But, 
you know, hey, you know, you know, the coach at CMS, he 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 knows what he's doing. He's doing what he's doing. But uh, if 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 he wants to not be in a dog fight, number five better get some playing time this weekend. And uh, not this weekend, but the way I went Friday is the weekend. And I I I want to see Columbia Middle School play a big guard lineup. I wouldn't mind seeing five Q AJ Gabe, and then just just pick one of those three guards out there. I would not. I would love to see that because I think that would be very impressive because Columbia Middle School would really just impose their will on teams so, <clears throat> if they played that group. You know, more. So while we're talking about Columbia Middle opinion. School, you know, let's start talking about some individual players right now. One player that, you know, that we have to start off with, we got to start off with Gabe Williams. You know, looking at Gabe Williams, former Atlanta Celtics, 3SSB, three, three, uh, 3 and D shooting guard playing alongside A.J. Williams, and he's played a lot of competition before. He played some of the best competition in the area, some of the best competition out of state. And I'm saying, how do you feel like him applying that skill level to this right now? How do you feel how do you feel about that? How do you feel like he developed throughout the season? Yeah, you, you know what? I'm, I, I've, I've been telling people all year long, this was going to be a, a growth year for Gabe. This, this, this Columbia, this middle school season was going to be a growth year because he's he hasn't been in this type of role, this leadership, this demanding role since he was maybe like in the fourth or fifth grade, you know what I'm saying, playing rec ball. And because he's, he's, been, he's been blessed with the ability to be able to play on a, on a team power 2027 team since he was in the second grade. And, and with us transitioning over last year, connecting that, that relationship with the Atlanta Celtics and, and bringing our 2027 over there, um, he, he he just played with a very, very good I, team I, with I, a lot of talent. You know, like you said, A.J. Williams, Dooney Johnson, R.J. Leslie. You know, he's been able to sit. He's been able to play his role and just pick and choose when he can do it. This middle school season, Gabe has had to take on a role of, like I said, it's called growth, where he's had to be a leader. Uh, we was just having this conversation in the car when I was taking you home is – you know, Columbia Middle School is like a gift and a curse because they can't do it without Gabe, they can't do it without AJ. You know, like, like you know, uh, um, at the end of the day, I've been most impressed with Gabe in his consistency, meaning that night in and night out, other than I think the first game of the season, you and I joked about, like, damn, he didn't give us nothing for the film. But really, after game two or three, man, he's been pretty consistent, man. He's had those 20, that 30-point game. You know, he's been pretty much much 17 18 a game and just at the right time i was listening to somebody behind me was talking you know you know parents they know who the hell i meant who i am and stuff so they was making a comment by he's slow i was like yeah this person don't know basketball he's playing with pace he plays with pace like he can pick that speed up but he's playing with pace and that's something that he's learning and a lot of kids have to learn that and stuff you know what i'm saying to play with pace, everything's not 100, and you know, 1, one thing miles about what people usually say about Gabe's game, and it's a crazy story how I kind of picked up on exactly what Gabe's game is like. You know, uh, back when we was in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, you know, 3SSB tournament, you know, one of the, one of a good mixtape that I made for him, you know, and, and you know, I was just like looking through most of the clips, you know, and I was putting it together. You know, when I got done, you know, making a little highlight reel with the music in the background, one thing that, that just felt so, like, soothing about the mixtape and how his game was well put together is that he's smooth. You notice, though, every game that he played in, everybody always complained about, oh, yeah, he walking it up the court, and oh, yeah, he's 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 slow. You know, it, like, and he's playing with pace, mm -hmm. if anything, any. Look, Columbia Middle School never adjusted to any team they played. If anything, teams adjusted to them because they know they're going to try to bring it up the ball. They know that right. they're going to try to sit right. there and try to press Gabe. And so now look, now when they end up trying to press, you know, you got twin, he a little better now, give him the ball. And then he ended up switching it out, like you said, when we were talking about that Evans game when they end up coming back. You know, when you said they had to run that 2-2-1, two, two, had, those, had that uh, two-guard attack. You feel me? Attack, mm -hmm. have somebody in the middle mm -hmm. and have those two far in the corner. You know, they because look, Evans was strictly focused on Gabe. You know, after the, hey, look to me after that last game when they, when Gabe had made that statement, him and AJ made that statement against Evans, and they end up taking that W, coming back down by twenty five, and end up coming back. That kind of traumatizes them a little bit. So yeah. now you know next. Okay, so 
So yeah, yeah we need to worry about Gabe. Yeah. But now we need to worry about Gabe. But then it's like we need Wait, to worry about AJ a little bit too. But it's like we to worry about Gabe. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, team, teams, teams, and 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 it's just with basketball in general, man. You know, it, it it never seemed like not just Evans. I'm not just picking on Evans. Columbia Middle School has the same problem too. But most basketball that we've seen at the at the Columbia Columbia Middle School level, you know, those they can never get five players playing with a purpose. And and I think and and I think it goes back to the kids' development, how kids watch and prepare and play the game, who's coaching them, who's training them. If, if I'm playing against Columbia Middle School, Evans is Evans, oh. Evans is just as talented as Columbia Middle School. I don't know if Columbia Middle School should have beat them three times like that. But I've never seen all five of Evans Middle School kids get on the glass and say, you know what, we are going to get on the glass. We're going to have three or four kids with, with three or four fouls because we, we fouling the hell out of A.J. We're not just letting A.J. We're putting bodies on him. Is Will Russell going to step up and put a body on him or be timid of the contact and not want to touch A.J.? I didn't see none of that. Is, is, is a guard going to come in here and punk Gabe or, or try to see can he handle some adversity and stuff? Like, I don't, I don't see that, and that's why I see a difference, especially, you know, we, we, we get off into a, to, to, to the AAU or the – or the, or the grassroots basketball circuit is totally different, but I didn't see a team try to come in and set the tone and make a statement. And that was a little disappointing because I know if I was coaching, I don't care. You could have gave me Harlem. I I I would have I would have beat. Yeah, beat you, you know, I was just thinking the same exact thing. Harlem didn't have any bigs, but what they showed was doing though. They was kind of frightening in Columbia for a minute. For like the first two, for like the first half, they couldn't find an answer for Harlem. Because that guard that they had or just the guards that they had overall, that four out and one in, I'm not going to lie to you. Columbia didn't really know what to do because, you know, looking at the teams they played, too many teams where teams could shoot, really. Mm -hmm. You know, you have, but it's just it's yeah. like one person that could shoot. That whole Harlem team could shoot. You feel me? That whole team. No doubt. You know, looking no doubt. That stuff, no doubt. No doubt. And Harlem. Harlem was 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 yeah. without Austin, so we didn't get a chance to see them with a with a with an Austin. I'm saying don't get it twisted. I think, uh, with, with, especially with the coaching, Columbia Middle School would have um, would have beat them, but uh, it'd have been more of a challenging of a game. Austin Austin would have Austin uh, Austin's there. I think I think it's Austin and uh, it's Harlem and uh, so you know talking Columbia about some more players right now. You know, let's kind of switch the subject back to you know. Going based off of what we hear, we don't got too many. We don't got too too much footage on Aiden, but you know, kind of going based off of what we're hearing and exactly how he's been leading Greenbrier, he sounds like a he sounds pretty dominant in what he's doing. His size, his his size is intriguing. Um, I think that you know, I think I think in the championship game it's going come down to who basketball players it's gonna come down to basketball it's not gonna come down to you know you know his time like you said he's had all season long he's gotten better so i'm, I'm intrigued but I, I can't really talk i only see him play one time this year i liked him matter of fact i followed him on ig uh just trying to stay up to par i think i seen him talking trash to somebody a couple times on ig it was interesting you know because i just you know you know being in the in this 2027 market and stuff always you know i want to keep my head on a swivel around what's coming, especially in the CSRA area. We always want to open our platform up for kids in 2027. So, so Aiden, man, we're going to see what you're working you know what with Friday, dog. Hey, hey, at the end of the day, though, man, it's all basketball and you love to see it, man. Watching class of 2027 at just middle school, it's one thing when you go watch high school games, you know what they expect from high school. It's like Grove Town, Wheeler. Like, yeah, there's always going to be good games like that. You already know what they expect from that. But but it's just better. It's like, like when yeah. when people would rather watch college basketball than NBA. You feel me? Like I'd rather watch middle school games than watch these high school games because it's just watching younger kids having dog having some dog in them like this. You feel me? Some real like some real deal basketball players at the age at the age that they at class that they not even not this yet. And, you know, looking yeah. at kids like two and one not being able to perform on stages like this. And then knowing Gabe being able to perform on stages like this way before he was even at eighth grade, sixth grade, playing up, playing against some of the top, playing some of the top players in the country. 
up, down, same, same man, it don't even matter. It's just good seeing players compete against each other. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it matters, you know, you know, like I said, you know, I tell a lot of parents all day long, uh, it matters. You gotta, you, 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 you gotta, you gotta, you gotta roll the basketball out and let your kids play. You can't sit there and keep them hit, hitting all, all their life and then expect them to come out in high school and stuff and, and think they're just going to make a team and make an impact. It don't work like that. It, it, like you just, you can't, you can't become a plumber overnight just because you come out and say, oh man, I want to learn to be a plumber. I, I, I want to play with water. No, man, you got to learn how to, you got to learn the basics of plumbing. Then you got to learn the, the intermediate part of plumbing, just like in basketball. So um, one thing I like about 2027, just as a whole, uh, granted, now, now you know I'm I'm uh, obsessed with 2027, but I just think this area is going to explode in 2027. I think mm -hmm. the eighth grade group is very talented. Uh, I think it's I think it's is 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 talented in 2020. It's deeper than 2026 in this area. Uh, it's deeper than 2025 in this area, um, uh, and it's and it's going to have an impact in this area like 2024 has had. And, and, you know, and like I said, 2023, in my opinion, in this area has been a late blooming uh, class. So uh, we, you know, yeah, some ballers in that class, but they're definitely late bloomers. But 2027 is going gonna, is gonna to keep the CSRA, the Augusta area on, on the map, on top. And, and people are going to be, they're going to be talking about us. They're going to be talking about our kids and stuff. And so I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I am I'm too. Excited. So, you know, kind of tracing back to Columbia Middle School in Greenbrier, I really want to get into some deeper conversations on probably who do you think might just take this game? Hey, you know what, man? Uh, you know, let's keep in mind, let me go ahead and put my, um, I am a dad, so, you know what I'm saying? So I do have uh, uh, a kid on Columbia Middle School, but uh, Columbia Middle School is going to win that game, flat out. Uh, the coaching is not over there on Greenbrier to make any adjustments, to do anything different. Uh, I know I'm getting the motivation points right now, but it's just going to so be it. Uh, Columbia Middle School is going to be motivated. Columbia Middle School is about to two-peat. I don't think – somebody tell me when the last time somebody two-peated in Columbia, Columbia, Columbia County basketball. But um, uh, I think it's going to it's gonna go down. Uh, should be a good game. But keep in mind, like you said earlier, Green Bryant has gotten better since we first seen them. But Columbia Middle School has gotten better too. AJ is a monster. Gabe is a, a, is, a, is, a is a solid Deep killer. Number play. five, number twenty-two, number twelve, twin. All them boys ready. So yeah, we, that's my. Don't see this opinion. Friday though, man. Hey, this Friday gonna be a dog fight, man. I say, I say, regardless, good coaching tonight. Regardless, it's gonna be a dog fight because Greenbrier they got the players. Columbia we got the play. I say, hey, man. And hey, Rock Coach, man, man, you never know. He might come out with a little something. And I say, man, yeah, stuff. I'm trying to tell him to stop calling me. <laughs> no, that's that, that's that's real. My uh, bad, Terry. I didn't hear what you said. Say so, but I know you. I heard you say it's gonna be a dog fight. So now I agree with you too. It's definitely gonna be um. This this mug here, keep on calling, man. Hey, hey, let's ask a question, man. When you did. Find somebody's called three times in a row. Don't that mean stop calling me? <laughs> yeah. But now, man, we don't want to bore y'all with just what we've seen tonight over at Columbia Middle School versus Greenbrier. I told Terry, man, I wanted to connect with him. I love what he's doing. I love what he's doing uh, with underground hoops. Man, he's doing a hell of a job. Uh, like I said, keep in mind, there's a lot of video people in this area, and I got all respect for you guys. I've seen how um, Terry showcasing our kids in the CSRA and not just CSRA you guys that are jumping out here covering basketball as a whole that's amazing so big ups to you sophomore at Grove Town High School I'm going to give you your kudos along with all the other people so um, uh Tell me this here, right, right here, Terry. After after the middle school season, what's your plans? Um, who who are you covering? Region player get going on in the CSRA area. Who are you planning so, to cover? Uh, you know, you know, Columbia County is a lot closer. You know, after this Friday, 
there's definitely going to be a lot more playing. So far, my first plan is, you know, uh, for most of my followers that's probably watching right now, you know, or even you, you even you know, have a live stream class, because I'm not going to really be in Columbia County area, not as much because middle school basketball will still be going on, you know. You know, you got North Augusta. You still got Richmond County. Their season don't end until February. You know, actually, tomorrow, uh, I'm actually going to head out and watch uh, Bel Air play again. Because I like the uh, backcourt duo uh, with DJ and uh, Delon. Uh, that I actually like what I've been seeing from them lately. And, you know, you still got Braylon Husband playing along. You know, you I, still got Braylon Husband yeah. playing alongside Kobe back at, uh, what's it called? Uh, LeCamp, LeCampville? LeCampville. LaVelle, LaVelle Campbell, I think. LaVelle Campbell. I got I to gotta get out there, man. I, I didn't know Husband was out there with um, uh, Kobe. That's 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 a intriguing line now, and, and I'm a big fan of Amari. Don't get it twisted. I like what Coach Sean Matthews uh, has done with Amari. Uh, I think his dad made a hell of a decision once again. Amari started off playing with uh, Team Power 2027. Uh, had a, had a great experience with Amari, and um, I know last year he you know he chose to play with the guys over in South Carolina. But I think it was great for him because guess what? He needed that time. He needed you know, that development. You know, also speaking. Cool. Speaking of more, um, you know, South Carolina. Oh, my God. It had came, out, it came out last minute, which you might. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I was just saying, Amari, Amari has is grown and developing, and uh, like I said, I think um, that's going to be exciting. I really got to find out, just because, like I said, I wanna, I wanna stay in the know, man. I wanna see what's going on in South Carolina, so I definitely want to see that avail and. Paul Knox, Paul Knox game, you know. I'm saying the school right, and then man Tut and Langford. I seen that game earlier this year. Uh, man, Langford just jumped on them dudes. Man, for Shaw Tisby just just went off and stuff. Man, you know he definitely made a difference in that game. Um, uh, I seen DJ and Delonte. They just they couldn't get it going that game. You know DJ was a little frustrated because you know because his teammates he probably felt like wasn't 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 helping uh, push forward and. Delonte got in foul trouble and was a little frustrated himself. But uh, Rashad Tisby just dominated that game, I, I want to say, for a, a quarter and a half and just punched him in the mouth. And then, you know, like I said, with Derek, Derek Shine doing his thing, man, he was he was solid. You know, he's always hitting threes. He, it seems like every time he hits a three, it's always like a, a gut punch. Like he don't need it. Like he'll, he'll, he'll miss a three, but when he hits that three, it's like, oh, it's, it, it's really damaging. And um and you know and Langford obviously has the the two the two cute little sixth graders and stuff that was kind of entertaining to see them play but I'm curious to see Tut play Langford again I'm curious to see man big ups to 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 um to DJ Postel man this kid is on another level man I've seen you know God is blessed and he's growing he's maturing you know he's always had that competitive dog in him but. What's amazing about about DJ is, once again, he's sort of like in a situation like Gabe over at Columbia Middle School. It's a growth. He's never he's never had to lead like that. He's never had to lead, and now he's leading, and that is and that's amazing with him leading. And then with Delonte, I was just talking to someone tonight that was at the game showing support to Gabe. He yeah. was like Delonte's been on a tear. The last Carol two games, uh, they so. end up playing against Spirit Creek. Delonte end up going off for of 28 points. Next game, and I end up going to end up playing against Richmond Hill Academy. Uh, end up going off for another 25. And what, like, the way how he get his buckets is he he can shoot. You can't stop him. It's like the moment the moment you give him like an inch of space, he's gonna shoot it. And it, it's it's not like no regular oh wow. yeah like. It's just gonna go like luckily go win. Like, man, look, I said Delonte in my book right now, I said he's one of the top ten guards as I and, un, and underground hoops rankings from what we've seen in middle school plays, I say he's at least top ten. At least. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, hey man, I love I love Delonte, man. I I I think he's putting the work. He's he's getting that lab work. Uh his dad, his dad is influential and and keep keeping him composed and, and keeping his mind right. And like I said, many kids are so young, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, like, like I tell people, don't get it twisted. Uh, kids like Delonte, kids like Amari Roberson, man, them kids are going to be special, man, because they, 
they love they they gym rats. They love to get in the, get in the gym. So they sophomore junior years are gonna be years when they're gonna be at their highest peak and stuff. So don't get it twisted. What you see right now, don't don't get it twisted. That's why I tell people, my twenty twenty seven team, man, we just blessed at everybody because you don't never see this right here, and this is real facts. You never see kids that keep on just progressing. And 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 and, and if you watch my twenty twenty seven group, every kid has continued to progress. You know what I'm saying. And you usually don't see that in, 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 in the game of basketball. You know, you see a lot of kids starting to, you know, you know, fade, kind of level out. And, um, and you know, it's just like, like, like I tell you, just like that 2024 group that's here in this area, a uh, special group of kids, I see them still elevating. That's why I think 2024 is a, is a real special class in, um, in the CSRA. Uh, I, I, like, I like 2026 potential, but, you know, they got some hard hit in 2026 man so you know and them kids can go left because i just know them personally but i i pray that you know they figure it out and stuff and uh, uh 2026 can be special in this area too you know and um 2025 man you gotta i'm telling you man uh uh i i, I like i like what you see uh over at greenbrier I man i think greenbrier with you know with, with ty jones doing his thing over at greenbrier he's a special kid i like I like the big man mm -hmm. Colin over there at um, uh -huh. at Laney, man. And I think he's, I think he, I think he might be the second best big man. Well, no, nah, let's just, I'm, tri I'm tripping. He might be the, he's definitely top five, but he may be an uh, argument for the third, fourth best, best big man in this area. You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, you know, I just like the fact that the matter that a sophomore is competing at a high enough level that we're talking about, he could be a top five kid in the front court in the CSRA area, you know what I'm saying? Just in a tough situation over that lane, in my opinion. I might still be uh, – the school itself, they asked me to come and record for them. And, I mean, Columbia, they, they treated me real generous this year, you know, letting me in, allowing me to get to know the players a lot. I might just be here next year. I'm going to tell you this right here. Uh, uh, CSRA, principals, administration, board of education, wake the hell up. You got people out here want to get in the gym, cover our kids and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Stop that whack-ass shit, man. Embrace this stuff. Uh, uh, allow these kids in the gym, especially these, these youth that we got coming in the gym. Allow these kids in the gym. Apply a platform for them. You should praise them. Create a hospitality room for them. You you should you should give these kids awards and stuff because the board of education, especially in Richmond County and Columbia County, don't put an ounce amount of money in promoting kids. So I'm sick and tired of um, these school administrations giving people such as underground hoops and other videographers problems trying to come in these gyms and setting up on baseline. Understand what the hell is going on. We're promoting and bringing branding and exposure to these kids. You just, kids just don't want to just go to school and, and get academics. That is most important, but at the same time, you got kids that want to come into your school and be able to obtain college scholarships and on top of receive high level education. So embrace it and stop, stop, stop providing these doors, closing these doors on these kids or, or making only some get in, allow all of them to get in. Create a process where kids got to apply online for their media credentials, so that the shit can run smoothly. Wake the hell up. Um, uh, county administrators, this should be priority. You should have a questionnaire, a media credential process, so that these people can get in here and bring branding, exposure, and opportunity to these kids to be recruited. Stop this whack ass. I mean, going in with that, you know, I had a little altercation with Greenbrier High School where they told me where I couldn't record, but I mean, I'm no different from who you got sports talk. I'm no different from all from all ball. You feel me? I'm, I'm no different from them. Like, well, 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 Terry. I'm gonna tell you like this, and I and, and, and you're a young man, but I'm just who you got sports has been around for a long time. So I know my man Steven is probably he he has face recognition there, so they probably recognize him. What I'm saying is. I don't, I don't mind that. I think what they have to do, and I think what I, what I, I'm encouraging you to do, is, is, is email, call the schools beforehand and stuff. You know, what I'm saying, let them know that you're coming. Let them know that you, what you expect. 
if they block you, let me know. I'm blasting their ass and stuff. I ain't got no problem going down to a board of education meeting and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to stop all this whack ass. We got to stop defragging our kids, holding our kids back and stuff. Because we got a lot of kids that's trying to shine bright lights on what they doing, on what other people are doing. And you need and to. Say, and I say the Augusta area as that's a whole, I say this. I say these last four, three years, I say this probably been the best it's ever been. Cause you know, you know, you had the, you know, you had those players like Christian Keeling, you know, my brother Robert Turner. You know, you like you had like a handful of players, but now it's like the deeper and deeper you get with play, you end up find like one player yeah. you go from finding gold, you know, like and it looks good at first, and you end up digging deeper with these schools, and then you end up real some oh. real shining. It's like like you said, it just keeps on progressing. You're starting to see a lot more six, five, eighth graders who can probably who can do it all. You feel me? You know, you're looking at people like AJ Clark. You're starting to see people like Aiden. And you do wonder what are their high school careers going to be like. And the fact that they dig that deep yeah. and still try to think about stuff like that, it it says a lot. Because if high school is blasting right now, what do you think those players below are doing right now? I say one player that is definitely being slept on at the moment because he's not playing this year, Caden Morin. I say he's probably going to be an impactful player in 2027 in the near future going to knock. I, I like him, man. You know, and, and one thing I tell about people about Caden Morin is who putting more work in him? Who's getting up at 6 a.m. like this kid? Who's running? Who's running two, three miles a day like him? You know, I like that. I like that. Caden Morin. Is is I've 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 coached players like Caden Moore in the past. Your brother Robert Turner is one of those kids. You know, uh, guys like uh, Jamar Saleem that would go out and run two miles a day. You know, you think that's crazy, but those kids, those kids that got that it factor like that, you know what I'm saying? They got a chance to go a long way in this game of basketball. But I want to point on this right here about you, about guys that's doing what you're doing with this recording and and bringing branding and exposure and shining, shining light on what we're doing with grassroots basketball, high school basketball, middle school basketball. Guys, just don't follow the hype, man. Stop that whack-ass shit. Stop following the hype. You know what I'm saying? You guys that's behind that, that video, I know you got to get likes. I know you got to get followers. But, you know, take time to, to try to find that diamond in the rough. Take time to, 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 to really an analyze the game of basketball and stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody – yeah, you know, everybody want to see the same kid doing this, doing that, but that's just not me. I'm telling you, if you want to be different, you want to be special, you want to be long-term, and maybe you want to make some good Skrilla at this stuff, and you want to be respected, you know what I'm saying? Man, diversify. Learn your craft, man. Analyze true talent. Analyze potential talent, and you'll see it. Stop following the hype. That's why I like the growth in this area, because in the, in the past, we've had one person dominate the mic, dominate the video that's not the case no more so it's so it's so it's about a handful of you guys that are real good and it's about 10 of y'all that 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 are out here doing it but you what i'm saying is that keep on separating yourself from the next person man or woman keep separating yourself do some good shit do good work you know what i'm saying so i encourage all y'all man to step up i know my man underground is I know he hey, though, man. Hey, appreciate it for y'all coming in tonight, man. Especially talking with uh, PQ Sports and me myself, man. We went into a lot of things today. Hopefully, we can probably do this next Wednesday, Coach. Next Wednesday. Yeah, we doing it, man. Hump day, hump day back. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I want y'all to hear this before we go out. You know what I'm saying? Um, Terry, what, what you what you what you got before we go out? Anything? I know you're gonna be at Columbia Middle School Friday for sure. Oh, anything you're doing Friday night at uh, Columbia Middle School Saturday? Probably not, other than uh, you know, coming up these upcoming weeks. I do actually have some 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 invites from a former college that I went to before that I it was an unofficial visit, but then you know the coach actually wanted me to come back and record. You know, me and my pops, we're gonna go back up there, you know, Jalen Hill, that played for Oklahoma State, they're going into I'm gonna be along Alongside Good some stuff. of the greatest photographers to ever do it, especially with Oklahoma College going down there, you know, chilling with the team, seeing what they got going. Other than that, I'm going to try to find some more Langford games to probably go to before the break. But just pretty much yep. just getting as much exposure as much on these young on these young kids as much as possible because you know middle school basketball as of right now this is, this might be my favorite year in middle school basketball because you know you finally get to see 
step up to the yeah. step up to the plate, finally actually get to lead their teams, and you really get to see, like you said before, who can really create their narrative and who are true ball players to the game of basketball. That's all I got. Man. Man, big facts, big facts, you know. So definitely check us out next Wednesday. Obviously, we'll be talking about who who who's crowned the Columbia County uh, boys champion. We're going to talk about the girls a little bit because we, we definitely got to keep on elevating our girls and stuff. And then I know I'm making a commitment, like I told on the ground hoops, I'm going to get out here and watch some high school basketball. Had a chance to watch Grovetown versus Willa. Really excited. Big ups to Grovetown playing that monster-ass schedule. It doesn't matter that they haven't won. Their kids are getting better. They're getting exposure. They're getting the opportunity. When they get in region play, man, they're going to dominate and run through region play, and they're going to be a they're going to be a force to fear with when it comes down to the to the playoffs. So all that sideways talking that people are talking about, man, it don't matter, man. Sometimes, like I tell people, when you get at a certain level, especially like what Grove Town is at this one particular year. You know, Team Power has been like that in many years with our with our high school program where you go and play in these major events, and it's not about the wins. It's about creating and owning your narrative. Do you have that matchup against that, that, against that kid that's seeking that same scholarship? You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about a lot of that. I ain't finna bore you guys with that. Appreciate you listening to us. We're going to send you out with our normal intro Outro? and extro. Outro. Oh, guess what that is? Guess what that is, huh? Everybody? Hey, hey, guess what that is? Come on, I know you're going to hear me. Quick, 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 quick. What that is, it, Greg? <laughs> and then, guess what that, that oh. is? Woohoo, Greg. How happy are folks who gain exposure by playing at PQ Sports events? I'd say happier than a demo playing basketball on Wednesday. Home day, yeah! Get exposure. Play with PQ Sports. Every weekend with PQ Sports, you can bring your culture and highlight to the world. Yo, check out our PQ Sports 2023 schedule. We're going to be doing some different stuff this year. We got some stuff coming up in the horizons. Uh, definitely support us, uh, and we're going to support you. Girls basketball, very key to what we're doing in 2023. Got some new stuff coming on, coming up with you. Got some exclusive runs with the girls. So, Terry, I'm out. Appreciate you, bro. I'll see you Friday. We'll be back at it Wednesday at 730, man. Hump day.